This is Skye, and today I'm going to show you how to build a modern doggy feeding station. Here are the main supplies you'll need. Click into the link in the comments below for the full details. One piece of 2x4 foot pure bond plywood. Three pieces of 36 inch by 1 and a quarter inch unfinished red oak square baluster. One piece of six foot by one and five eighths inch lattice pine molding. P60, P20 sandpaper. A half inch spade bit. Pocket screws. Clamps. Wood glue. Wood putty. Brad nails. Spray paint. Wood stain. Felt pads. And rubber bumpers. Here are the tools you'll need. Miter saw, hand sander, drill, jigsaw, brad nailer. Recent studies have revealed that raised dog feeders could actually be a contributor to bloat in large and giant breed dogs and should be used upon veterinary recommendation only. The research findings did not specify the potential hazard for small or medium sized dogs. So to err on the side of caution, Ask your veterinarian for elevated eating advice. Now, here's what you do. Measure and cut tabletop, legs, and braces. Use a miter saw to cut pieces to size. Click the link below to see the cut list. Sand all wood pieces. Paint all leg and brace pieces. Allow to dry. Measure, mark, and cut out bowl holes on tabletop. Flip tabletop over to draw on underside. Flip over bowls, then trace each rim allowing one inch on each side and between each bowl on the tabletop. See diagram in link below. You'll now need to create a second circle, the one you'll actually cut out. Use a ruler to create your cut line. Mark points inside and around the circle 3 eighths of an inch from the outer circle's edge. Now, using a half inch spade bit, drill a hole, then insert your jigsaw to cut out inner circle. sand smooth. Next, create one pocket hole on one end of each leg using the Craig Jig R3. Set the jig slider according to the thickness of your wood. In this case, set it to one and a quarter inch and adjust drill bit stop collar to one and a quarter inch. Attach legs. Set tabletop on its long side on a level surface. Brace with a scrap piece of wood, then clamp into place. Apply wood glue to top of leg piece, then place it square to the edge of tabletop. Then clamp. Screw in pilot screws. Do the same for all four legs. Attach bottom braces. Set tabletop right side up. Apply wood glue to both ends of brace piece, then place brace between legs, horizontal to the surface. Butt back leg up against a scrap piece of wood, clamp into place. Using your brad nailer, nail to attach using two inch brad nails. Do the same for the other end and other bottom brace. Attach diagonal braces. Place newly attached doggy station on tabletop with short side facing out. Place one diagonal brace behind attached legs, mark, then cut using your miter saw. Apply wood glue, then nail into place using one and three quarter inch brad nails. Attach molding. Start with the middle front piece, making one 45 degree bevel cut on one end. Then hold it onto the front of the tabletop, 
aligning beveled end to the right edge of the tabletop. Place a mark onto the molding at the left edge of the tabletop. Then make a 45 degree bevel cut from the mark away. Glue. Then brad nail into place using 3 quarter inch brad nails. Continue with back and second side moldings. Now we're ready to touch up. Add wood putty where needed, sand, then paint. Stain tabletop and molding. Use any color stain you wish to complement your home's decor. Allow to dry. Apply polyurethane to tabletop to seal your wood. Adhere felt pads and rubber bumpers. Here's an optional step. Add fun signage. Either by hand painting or using a laser cutter, add your dog's name or, like we did, fun verbiage for eating and drinking. If using a laser cutter, you can stain or paint signs then adhere with wood glue. You did it! For more detailed instructions, go to our website. If you'd like to check out more of our doable DIY projects, Follow us on Instagram or Pinterest, and please don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more videos.